What's going on guys, Rahul here, aka Roz Reacts, back again with another Solgi reaction. Now in this video, I'm going to be checking out the rest of her mini album called 28 Reasons. I already checked out the title track, make sure to check out my reaction to that if you haven't already. I also checked out one of the b-sides that she made a special video for, um, I think it was called Sad Girl Bad Boy, or it might have been Bad Boy Sad Girl, I'm not sure, but um, it was featuring B.O., checked out the special video. Make sure to check out my reaction to that as well. Um, so there's four more B-sides left. I'm going to be checking that out in this this reaction. Hopefully this doesn't get blocked. I don't think it will because it's only four songs. But it's called Dead Man Running, Anywhere But Home, Los Angeles, and Crown. Um, I've heard that Dead Man, Dead Man Running was really good. If I remember correctly, I think one of my friends mentioned that. But um, yeah, I'm excited to check this out. I love Solgi's vocals. Um, they're super unique. I feel like the vibes of this album so far have been great. I've only listened to two songs, but it's just a really unique concept, like especially the title track. Um, she also dropped a performance video, so I got to check that out. So I'll check that out eventually. But yeah, if you are if you are new to this channel, if you are a lovey, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Um, join the Discord server if you haven't already as well. There's not many loveys on there. You know, you guys can talk about Red Velvet on there more k-pop with other other k-pop fans of course um but yeah it's just a good good way to to talk to pe new people and you know talk about k-pop share your love for soul gi k-pop red velvet all that stuff but anyways i'm gonna i'm gonna stop talking this is a long intro so yeah soul gi 20 28 reasons mini album let's get right into it <laughs> Starting off with Dead Man Running. Stop it all. Coca did a chunchon in their total bar. Co was on the most of Beck and Lumpitson. Sanity Amukoto Omon, the Morgudi Challenge. Luna Dog. Kusum Gan is had a jay beautiful night. Says I'm in the room so good or good yoga. Narmon Chugi and Ajik Puchuke. Jemin the no. Dude, her vocals in this have been amazing. Bruh, the way she sang that Hunjok line. The vocals, bro. This kind of makes me, like, this kind of reminds me of, like, a weekend song. I don't know why. Like, the beat especially sounds like a weekend beat. Damn, the lyrics are crazy though, like... <clears throat> I like the way it leads into the chorus, like the pre-chorus. Like the way she says that now you're just that, and then she does that dead man running, the vocals. Oh, that was good. Yeah, the way she sings dead man running is insane, like the vocals. <clears throat> right, and the hoon joke line, bro. Yeah. 
I like this part, the you can run, you can run part. Dude, the vocals there again. The pre-chorus is really good to, to build up into the chorus. <clears throat> And the we home man, the we home man, like that line, I love. Damn, bro, the lyrics though are kind of like very dark. But yeah, this music kind of reminds me of like the hills by the weekend. Yeah, like there's uh, there's only been a very few amount of songs in K-pop that have kind of given me like uh, a, a the weekend vibe. I forget like what exactly gave me like which songs exactly. I remember opening sequence by TXT was one of them. Um, I don't know the the beat of this song just gave me like a a, a similar vibe to what you get with the weekend. But yeah, that was really good. There is a it was a good um, like it was like a night vibe song like a very very heavy in terms of the beat like the beat was very beat heavy i felt um which i'm usually not a huge fan of and this one i was i liked it i honestly think i like the the other two better like 28 reasons and um sad boy <clears throat> whatever the name is sad girl bad boy bad boy sad girl whatever it's called i like those two better i think at least on the first listen maybe this one gr will grow on me but i feel like it was a little too heavy um, especially with the beat, but I really like the way they built into the chorus, the pre-chorus, or the way she built into the chorus with their pre-chorus vocals, and then the dead man running vocals, and then that Hyun Jok line, or I think it was Hyun Suk, Hyun Jok, whatever she says, that one, the power in her voice was really nice as well. But um, yeah, it was a good song though to start. Um, dead man running. The next one is anywhere but home. So let's get right into it. <clears throat> I like the way it started with this little Oh shit The beat's really chill I love the flow also by the way so far I like the way she sang River 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 Ride. <clears throat> this feels like something you'd hear at a, at an H and M. That River River Ride is super addicting. Oh, this is a nice one. Like that part. Like that, like... Oh, I love that part. And the ad-libs right now? I don't know what it what I don't know how to explain the vibe of this song, but I really love it. I love that. I love that part. Baby. And then the wait. Oh, she. And then the bum in the background, the albums. I like this song a lot. 
definitely my favorite B-side so far. <clears throat> Oh, dude, the way she sings the thing. And then watch this the ad libs now. This is a great song. I love this song. <coughs> Yeah, that was a really good song. Definitely liked it more than Dead Man Running. Not that Dead Man Running was bad, I just, this one's more of, like my vibe. Um, because the beat was more subtle. Like, obviously, the beat was pretty, like, a pretty big part of the song, I feel like, especially with that kind of, like, I don't know how to explain that. Like, there was this little sound that they kept adding, kind of like it was, like, a, um, like almost like a drop of, like, water, but not really, though. I, I don't know how to explain it, honestly, but. I really like that that sound that they kept adding and the beat just in general like a very chill beat like I said I can hear this kind of beat at like an H&M and then the way she sang that baby do 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 like that flow the 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 baby and then the flow I loved and then the she said up she as well in the same way as she said baby and then take me anywhere just take me anywhere that whole part where it was just english and like the four lines please take me anywhere but home or whatever i really like that part too so that one was a really good song um honestly it might even be my favorite in the album like even more than 28 reasons um so yeah i feel like this is the song to beat right now there's two more <clears throat> sorry about the coughing by the way hopefully it's not too loud in the mic i'll try and do it here if i need to but um yeah Though those there's two more songs. Let's see if either one of them can can take over as my favorite. But as of right now, it's 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 um, anywhere but home. Next one is Los Angeles, though. So let's get right into it. <clears throat> this could, this is giving me like anime vibes, like. You know those scenes in like anime movies or even anime shows when there's like something it's just like kind of like they're just going through like oh, I don't know how to explain it but it's like kind of before they introduce the characters they're kind of just showing like shots of the scenery like and then they have this kind of music I don't know like why I thought of that but that's what I'm getting from it I don't know if you guys can I don't know if you guys know what I mean but I really like the beginning of this Okay, the song doesn't sound anything like that vibe I described, but the very beginning did. <coughs> I like the beat. a bit beat heavy which I generally don't like but it kind of slaps in this song <clears throat> kind of sounds like a song you'd hear at the club just the music I love this music during the actual singing 
Like, I love it. The flow. And then the beat comes, I think. <clears throat> she says it again, and then the beat comes, I think. And then it goes back to this beat that something you'd hear at the club, you know. This is also this specific part also gives me really similar vibes to the weekend. Like I feel like the weekend has songs which have the the beats like this. <clears throat> Dude, I'm so sorry. By the way, I my constant coughing. I feel like it's super loud. I don't know if the third time, like I think three times is a bit excessive, honestly. I feel like they should have just done it twice. <clears throat> but it is kind of sick, like the beat is definitely pretty dope. Like if you just want to, you know, it's just instrumentals or like a song with like not as much music, like I mean, not as much singing. This is pretty dope. But yeah, I could definitely hear it at a, at a club too, but I kind of want to listen to this first... 15 seconds again because it just gives me anime vibes like so much it's insane exactly the vibe i described as well is what i'm getting <clears throat> and then it starts but yeah that was another good song i think that's my third favorite i feel like it's after 38 reasons um but yeah no, that was a good song too though definitely uh very good beats like that 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 one beat which was which just that sounded like a club beat was was really nice um even during the the actual singing there was this constant do 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 and i really like that kind of give like a kind of like an eerie effect to it as well like a little bit <clears throat> like yeah eerie is the word but yeah another good song you know Solgi's vocals of course as usual are amazing even in this song um, I like that. Los Angeles, I'm loving it. I'm lost in Los Angeles. Like that part was really good too. But yeah, I mean, I still, I still think the best song in the album so far is Anywhere But Home. Um, <clears throat> but there's one last song, Crown, Crown for the Queen. So let's see if she could beat, or at least for me, if she could beat. Um, anywhere but home. It sounds a little too dark or like a little too weekendy <laughs> again. Not really, never mind. I like the brackets, the parts in the brackets. Damn, I am the only owner of your night? Oh, 
I like the flow as well. <clears throat> I like that part too. When she has these little, the words she says multiple times, like the parts of the, each word. I love the parts in the brackets, dude. Bad boy, sad girl, that's what it's called. <clears throat> Damn, okay. Yeah, I wasn't a huge fan of that B-side either. It did have some good moment, moments, like the, uh, um, <clears throat> obviously the, the brackets parts that I kept mentioning when she sang the part and then they, I guess, like, some background singers or, like, her, I guess, with other singers would sing the parts in the brackets and it kind of, like, mixed together. So it's like it was, like, ad-libs. Um, <clears throat> so I really like that. But I thought the beat was kind of, I think it was a little too slow for my liking, and and usually when it's a slow song, I like slow songs that have like kind of like more ballad style. But this kind of more felt like a, a a slower song, but not a ballad style. Like it was like a slow. I don't really know what genre it was. Like, is this R and B? Is this classified as R and B? Honestly, I don't even know what R and B classifies as. But yeah, <clears throat> I just felt like it was a slow song that wasn't to my liking. So I wasn't a huge fan of this. Dead Man Running was okay. I wasn't a huge fan of it either, but honestly, those two, like Crown and Dead Man Running, are probably the ones I didn't like that much, but I really did like um, Anywhere But Home a lot, and I also liked Los Angeles. So those two B-sides were really good. Bad Boy, Sad Girl was a really good B-side too, and then, of course, 28 Reasons, the title track, was also dope. Like, it was such a unique concept. I loved her choreo. The, the, vi the music video was amazing, and even the song grew on me. So, yeah. 28 Reasons mini album by Solgi. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my reaction. If there are any loveys here, if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. Make sure to join the Discord server. Make sure to recommend me stuff in the comments or on the Discord server. Um, and yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video.